Hey everybody, it's New Hampshire Hobby Logger, and today is September 17th. It's a Saturday, so it's uh, right around noon time, maybe a little after. And I'm in between deliveries right now for firewood. And um, But I had a guy that sent me a question the other day on one of my videos that I had done about the charcoal retort that I've been working on. So it has changed uh, considerably on the on the bottom end of it since I first tried it out uh, last uh, late winter uh, when I was doing pretty much just an open burn out on uh, yeah, because there was snow on the ground and everything else but during the summer uh, you can't do that because it's uh, it was hot it was it was really dry out and stuff so I figured out a way to contain the fire and still get my charcoal done which is sure a whole lot easier and better to do in the summer because everything's nice and up to temperature you don't have to worry about cooling things down too fast while you're trying to uh, superheat that wood inside the barrel. So this uh, little video is going to be for that benefit of that. The guy there said he wanted to see how I built the bottom side of it where we keep the fire going. So anyhow, I got this uh, new remote mic microphone that I'd uh, put on the camera and tried it out there earlier and I got the wrong pigtail plug for it and it wasn't recording. Uh, any sound so that video is scratched and this is all together now so I think what I'll do is rather than just uh, start from all over again I'll take it apart piece by piece and explain what each one of them does so the way it's set up right now is the way it's going to be uh, used when you're uh, um, got that green barrel all filled with wood inside of there that you're trying to turn into charcoal and there's a chimney that comes up through the the, the whole thing as you can see that's in place so I'm going to take that chimney apart I'm going to pull the lid off the barrel I'm going to take the green barrel off of the top of the the uh, the stove bottom stove part the uh, and uh, what that is basically is it's a 275 gallon oil drum you know used for home heating oil and stuff like that and I cut um, I think that's about 24 inches um, and I uh, cut a hole in the end of it um, so that the fire can go up through there and superheat that upper barrel. And um, I pretty much left everything, the filler pipes and the legs and everything on, on the rest of it. So I'll take it apart, show you a little piece as it goes there. Um, the stuff I burn to keep the fire going is all the scraps from our firewood operation. So that tray on the, on the bottom I'll take all those scraps, I'll just lay them right in that, and then I just crowd it up in with a shovel, um, and it just goes right into the fire pit. So I'll pull that apart right now, and get rid of these glasses. This is just a... Well, that just slides right out. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'll pull the chimney apart and then get the barrel off of there and show you what, how that all fits together. If you'll remember from some of my other videos there, this is the uh, where the gases from inside the barrel go right in these little holes and it shoots right up into the stack and they're burned off. Move a little closer here so you can see what's going on. All right, on top of that fuel barrel is a spacer ring from a truck. 
So that's for the rear rear wheels. That's a spacer. It measures about 21, I think 20, 20 inches, 22 inches. So that happens to fit right there nicely. So that barrel will sit right on there, just beautiful. That kind of seals up the fire on that end of it. And that uh, fire ring there, that's a, a, a truck wheel. Um, so that's, uh, that's basically, I cut that side out of it which, so the wood can slide up in there. And uh, cut that out with a torch and that measures about 11 inches across and it's about I think six inches high wood's gonna go right in there in the bottom of that I put a grate that I just welded up uh, a couple of pieces of rebar that's just to keep the wood and the ash from falling down in until it gets burned and that sits on a couple of fire bricks so that just raises it up with a couple of fire bricks there sitting on top of that. And you just keep jamming wood in there until the uh, paralysis event is over with. And then you let her cool down. Uh, well, it's a 24 hour process as far as I'm concerned. Um, I let it set overnight. and uh, But it keeps all the flames inside of that uh, this tub here. This. Uh, cut off barrel all the flames stay right inside of it very nicely but it is some kind of hot all around it so um, probably a eight foot area that you don't want anything combustible around the thing there because that gets mighty mighty hot but everything's contained we had a real good luck with it we did a lot of charcoal there this summer we used that for smoking and and uh, I'm going to use it one of the gasifiers and try that out run an engine with it so um, anyhow I hope that helps that's what we made it out of welding skills i don't think it really needs too much except for the the ring on the uh that's a pretty tight fit on that on that uh, chimney for that little ring to keep it from going down into the barrel sliding down there you have to have the retainer there and i use the welder for the for that little grate this thing but everything else can be cut with an angle grinder that that's all i that's the only other thing that's welded so for you guys that don't have wood and stuff like that, you could probably figure out something there to just, you don't even have to have them welded, you just lay them on there. Um, but just keep throwing in the wood and get that barrel good and hot and have fun. And it works real well. Okay, so Hobby Logger signing out and we're going to put this thing up for the guy there so he can go start building. <laughs>